So we're here doing uh, es yield estimates for our corn crop here in 2024. Um, first thing we gotta do is figure out what one one thousandth is. So if you're on 30 inch rows, 17 feet, five inches. If you're on 36 inch rows, uh, 14, six, so on and so forth. Once we figure out what one one thousandth is, we're gonna count how many harvestable ears that we have. So if there's a ear that I don't, it's, it's not well representative on, on those rows, I take it out. Once we find those ears, we peel them back, and the first thing that we do is we figure out rows around. Okay, so we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So this is a 12, roughly a 43 ear. Uh, one thing I do is I don't count the very bottom, don't count the very top, I try to get the middle. So once we have our 12 by 43, we're gonna grab our calculator. When I did my one one thousandth, I got eight, 18 harvestable ears. So we're gonna do 18 harvest, harvestable ears times 12 around times 42 long, and that gets us 9,072. Once we do that, I divide it by 90, because that's industry standard, 90,000 kernels per seed, I get 100.8 bushel corn. Now, if I take that times 90, and let's just say we have a really good test weight year and yields are really filling up, which divided by 80, that's 113 bushel corn. So we just gained 13 bushels on the same ear strictly based on kernel size. Just because I like to make myself smile, let's do it by 70. That's almost 130 bushel corn. So if this corn ends up with industry standards, you're looking at 100 bushels. If for some reason we're able to really pack it in, weather conditions are right, this corn could be up to upwards to 130 strictly based on what we are dividing by. And that's one thing I think we need to focus on in producers is we do a lot in the beginning. Maybe we should look more about how we make it finish.